A shaky ceasefire agreement between Russia and Georgia continues to be on wobbly ground this morning. The Georgian foreign ministry says instead of Russian troops moving out of the Georgian city of Gori, more are moving in. This latest movement is just hours after Georgia's interior ministry said Russian troops were in fact leaving the city, located just an hour from the Georgian capital. Last week, Russian and Georgian forces started battling over the separatist region South Ossetia, which lies within Georgia's border. The fighting quickly spread to another separatist region, Abkhazia. U.S. leaders quickly reacted, calling the Russian military movements unacceptable. We should discuss whether it makes sense for Russia to continue its participation in the G8. We will also need to review Russia's aspiration for membership in the World Trade Organization. I've heard the Russian president say that he is, his military operations are over. I am saying that it is time for the Russian president to be true to his word. Rice is heading to France to meet with the French president. Nicolas Sarkozy helped broker the peace agreement on Tuesday. From there, she will head to the Georgian capital of Tbilisi. Already in the Georgian capital, a C-17 military plane from the United States full of humanitarian supplies. Uh, we've had reports of executions. We've had reports uh, of people having their houses burned. Um, and uh, this is happening by, committed by irregular forces that are interspersed with the Russian or military forces that the Russians are calling peacekeepers. Um, if these are peacekeepers, they need to keep the peace. Another plane full of supplies is expected to arrive in the Georgian capital later today. The battles have killed hundreds, if not thousands, in Georgia. Russia alleges that Georgia committed genocide against South Ossetians. On the other hand, Georgia has filed suit against Russia in the International Court of Justice, alleging murder, rape, and mass expulsions in both South Ossetia and Abkhazia. Rita Foley, The Associated Press.